We didn't finish the ice. At only a third way through. So what is he talking about? He's saying the three madregas of Bittal in the air. Okay, so technically, somewhat, there is the Bittal of the air that in as much that it conveys the Ma'ir at level one, it conveys the Ma'ir. There is a Ma'ir, there is a source. The picture accurately conveys the source. Level two in our marshal. Level two, the feeling for the source. Level three, the desire to be one with the source. Back to level two, a sense of the source. Not only that it exists, but a sense of it. A hergish. It evokes, the picture evokes the it evokes the source, not just that it exists, but it evokes. Maybe that's a good word. And the third level, the desire to be one with it, to be there. So there are these three levels in Avoida. Now he spells out what they are, and that is in the one, in one line, in the last line of the small paragraph, hey, that begins Sif hey, and maybe you want to tell me what are the three levels in Avaida? Three levels of Bittal in Avaida. These are three levels of Bittal of the Ur, which the Mime explained till now. And the three levels, the translation in Avaida is level one. No, it's right there. The last line, two lines. So there's the beetle, the bit <clears throat> the beetle of an, an understanding that's based on a muna, as opposed to understanding on its own. Understanding on its own. That means every kind of a saga is a bitl. You want to know the truth of whatever it is. But here, Amuna, to begin with, is a truth that is beyond Seichel. So therefore, it's the bitl of the Seichel to the Amuna. That's level one. Level two. The pure Amuna itself, the bitl of the Amuna itself. And a third level, which corresponds to the third level of the air. The desire to be there and be one with the mocker, the mo'er, that would be Mercedes Nefesh. So that's going to be explained now. So to understand this, he began, we won't say it inside now. We'll pick up the text we were up to. So I'll just say it in an overview. So understand this by understanding the relationship between Makif and Pnimi. So you're going to help me, friends. He gave two musholim, two illustrations of the inter the interplay between Makif and Pnimi. The first one, but don't mean musholim as in uh, as in uh, parables, but illustrations, expressions of this. The first one is the interplay between these are the two things he's speaking about now. So just give me the players here. Who's the market? Who's the Pinimi in Marshall number one? Illustration number one. Guys on Zoom, you are welcome to participate. Rodson and Amuna. Sorry, Rodson and Seichel. Yeah, Rodson and Seichel. Rodson and Seichel. Rodson being Makif and Seichel being Pinimi. Um, how about someone telling me why why is Rotson called Makif and why is Seichel called Pnimi? Very basic, anybody? I mean, this is what the mime is saying, but in your own words, just a couple of words. Why was is Rotson defined as a Kayach Makif and Seichel a Kayach Pnimi?
there's many expressions of that, many uh, <laughs> demonstrations of it, but just would it say something, anything. Well, let's start with Panimi. That's easier. Why Seichel Panimi? What does Panimi mean? First and foremost, it is Bekalim. Conscious, contained. It's consciousness. Seichel is Oydas Bekalim. The whole point of Seichel is to understand and give definition. And then engage, engages, and it's the pinimis of the person. By the pinimis of the person, we mean his, his conscious makeup. You know, the person is in his head. That's where we are, first and foremost. We live in our heads. And we're conscious of that all the time. That defines our consciousness, is our minds. Rotson, on the other hand, is called makif because... Gentlemen, anybody, anything will do. The, uh, to illustrate, all human beings are driven by the same basic rodson. What would that be? All human beings, all of life. To survive? survival and uh, and success and then the next level you don't just to survive but you want to express yourself and be successful that means express you want to be fulfilled you want to be expressed now that drives you you so you got to get up in the morning you got to put bread on the table but so it's a krech makif in the sense you're not every day i want to survive and i want it hovers as it were as the overarching drive and context of everything you do is the will to to survive to be to be expressed to be free free means to express self unencumbered so freedom means that's why freedom is such a deep desire all of nature wants to be free wants to express itself so it's market because it's not a thing that you you address uh consciously every moment but it's it's there driving everything and also, Rotsen is Makiv, because it's not limited to Seichel. Not, uh, Seichel, I'm sorry. Seichel is limited to the mind, period. There's no Seichel in your, in your finger. The brain affects the finger, yes, but I'm talking about Seichel, not the, not the nervous system. Seichel is in the head, not in the finger. You don't think with your finger or other or organs of the body. Well, some people do, or sometimes we do. Saying that facetiously, uh, sarcastically, but truly. So, with, with the makif, it, it surrounds and it influences without being fully comprehended. And the second point I'm saying now is that the, the rotsen is not limited, it affects every part of the body equally. With the rotsen, we can act, we can feel, we can do, we can understand, it will manipulate and control any aspect of the conscious self equally. It's not limited to one area of consciousness, intellectual, emotional, or behavior. Seichel is in the head. The emotions are felt in the heart, the quickening of the heart, etc. Actions are in the hands and feet. These are the Kreches Primim. You all have the Kalim. And that's where, that's where they reside. Intellect resides, resides in the brain, not anywhere else. But the Rotson doesn't reside anywhere particularly. It's an overarching survival will and will get its way imposing itself on any aspect of consciousness equally. It's another reason, well, it's the same thing, just another observation, why it's called a Kerch Makiv. So that was the first marshal, the Rotson and and Seichel. The second marshal, again, not a, not a marshal, but an illustration, a different model is what? That's the second one, and on, on the this is the first half of the second paragraph. Can you find it there?
Uh, it's like 10 lines down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine, 10 lines down. It starts with a Kamoi cane. And likewise, now another muscle. No, Aaron? Emuna and Seichel. Emuna and Seichel. So there's Rotan and Seichel and Emuna and Seichel. And he's contrasting the effects, the different effects. So let's begin with what did he say about Rotan and Seichel? You want something, and the seichel goes along and will justify it. But what's the nature of that? What's going on, really? What's going on is that the rotsen manipulates the seichel. As we said, remember? Before the rotsen kicked in, the intellect didn't say, you need to have this. Your wife didn't say, you need this. The voice of reason in the house. But you want it. Because you want it, so therefore you're going to come up with all kinds of explanations and reasons and justifications. And they're all very uh, uh, convincing. But then it says they're not the world of the Seichel. The Seichel didn't come up with this itself. It doesn't start with a reasonable, logical need. It's, I want this. He wants this car. Okay, You need a car, okay? This car. Particularly this one, Adara, but the Seichel might say that uh, it's a little expensive or whatever other protest that your wife would have. Um, but no, he wants it. And he's going to explain why he wants it. But what, what happens? And for Shalom Bai should go along. Got to pick your battles. Okay. So what happened? What the Seichel is now is the now expressing all the justifications and reasons why. This particular car, this model. So what's the case here? The Seichel Mamash but Pinimius agrees. No. What's happening here is that the Seichel, that's the power of will. It's the great enforcer. And the mind will capitulate and it give reasons. Is this sounding familiar, friends? Or oh, this was Friday and you weren't here. When did we learn this? Thursday and Friday. I call upon him. So the so the point here is, friends. Let's pick up. Therefore, let, let, let's learn this inside. I see it's all new. Okay. So look. This you have a different layout than me. Can can I see this for a second? Give me your paper, please. No. No, it's not exactly the same. Okay. So if I hear you the second line from the bottom, Kufnun Hey. Let's throw that inside again. Yes, gentlemen. In the marshal, in the illustration of Rotsen and Seichel Zesh, Seichel Maven Kifir Rotsen, this that the intellect now understands. And explains the will. It's not because of intellect per se. The will mata means veers it. he changes it. It imposes itself. If I really want something, you'll come up with the reasons for why you need it. Since in this interaction, what's happening here? The Seichel surrenders, capitulates, Mishtana changes to reflect the Rotsen. Lachain, therefore, key words here. This that the, the Rotsen is now invested and in, expressed in, expressed in intellect, in the mind. But the Rotsen doesn't change. It's not like now the will has become an intellectual thing. It's morphed into a reason, a reasoned uh, 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 um, objective. It remains. He wants. Now, the fact that the Rotson doesn't remain, it's not such a Chiddush because that's the nature of will. The whole thing didn't begin with Seichel. 
So just because it got packaged by Seichel, you know, why should the Rotson change? And it doesn't change. In other words, like this. It's not like now that I've explained it, my desire for it is being tempered. Before it was pure will. Now it's based on all these reasons. Now if it's reasons, you can have a counter-argument. So my will has gotten weaker, it didn't get any weaker. Then the will is the same will. I want this no matter what. So I came up with these arguments. The arguments, didn't, the seichel is not mislabish in the arguments, which would weaken it and open it for discussion. And if there's a stronger argument, then okay, fine, I won't. He's not, he's not ready for the fine, I won't. He's getting this no matter what. So that's such a shechidosh, that's the nature of Rodson. It all starts with I want. He took a look, I want this. Finish. All the explanations came later. I think we're up to here. Maybe we, maybe we didn't go much further. Now, contrasting to the same one, uh, no, it just it's kind of hover in the background, this corresponds to the first, okay, we'll see later, the first level of uh, Okay, let's put it aside, it will confuse us. We'll bring it later. But when a person is understanding his faith, That the, where the intellect comes to the truth, it comes to the conclusion. That is instinctual faith. It's born out by reason. He sees there's a God in the world. Very simply, a creator. So what's happening here is, this is not a surrender of the Seichel. Who mitzada Seichel. He really sees this. Kishim is in brackets. It's not a capitulation. It's not a capitulation. And Muna doesn't force itself. It's just patiently there in the core of our being. And it doesn't assert itself unless squeezed out of us. And, you know, sometimes it's squeezed out of us by circumstance. But otherwise... It just remains makif because it's more atzmi. So that's non assertive. So now, when he understands, he, 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 has, he believes, he just instinctually believes in God because there is one. So we believe in him. He spoke about children the other day, right? In brackets. So now he understands. When he thinks in his mind, because he wants, he feels this is the truth as a God. He wants his mind to embrace this truth as well. What does he want? He doesn't want to force. If he's going to force his mind, he missed the point. He wants his conscious mind to embrace the truth that he feels in his in his heart. We didn't learn this. He wants this not to be a delusion. He wants this to be real seichel. And the real seichel should come to the conclusion there's an Abishta, the Emes of Torah, etc. So this is not like Ratzim manipulating seichel, is it? Seichel is not capitulating. He wants, and this is what he's engaged in, a real understanding, not a surrender. This makes perfect sense. On the contrary, on the contrary, and by that I mean, without this, nothing else does. Without belief in God, nothing makes sense. Without God, rather. And the more he's misbeinin, the more he sees that the in Seichel, the truth of Abishtan, of Teira, etc., and endless you know, endless meditations. Yafa Pekin comes the big news now. So the what happened over here, unlike the Rodson and its effect on Seichel, the, he, it's a distinction now, friends. The Rodson didn't change. Despite all the explanations, the explanations are good because he has to convince his wife. But they, they just, he doesn't need the explanations, the Rodson. He wants the car and that's the end of the story. But he's got to justify it to, 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 his, uh, to his Seichel, to his wife, to his friends. Explanations. The notes remain the same after all the explanations. That's not a chiddush because the whole thing is pure notes and it's not in, the whole thing in the beginning. We didn't start with seichel. Now Amuna doesn't start with seichel either. It also doesn't. 
And what is this instinct? And yet, so here's the paradox. It's deeper than the Ratz and Emona. It's deeper. And yet when he understands, he wants to understand it's not, 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 not convinced, not, not force the argument. He doesn't want Seichel to capitulate and give up. Okay. But he wants Be'emes to understand the Emes of the Eibishter, of the Kurs and the Yiddish guy. So the Chayri, you'd think, okay, so the Emunah now is kind of transmuted into an intellectual Judaism. No, it didn't. That's big Chiddush. Emunah remains pure Emunah. Do you understand the Chiddush of Rotson? And why it's a Chiddush? Because Rotson doesn't care about the Seichel. But he wants here, he he wants to understand. The Amunah wants, the Amunah part of him wants to be understood. Understand me. I'm not forcing it. I want you to understand. And bring me to your Seichel. The Amunah is saying, I want to permeate your Seichel. And yet the Amunah remains pure Amunah. Friends, I want to get a feedback. Do we see the Chiddush here a little bit? Yeah, let's see inside the Maimur. Notwithstanding the fact that he understands, it doesn't change the emunah. And even, even when he understands it again, that this is not wishful thinking, and this is not capitulation because the will is just going to get its way, and so everything else surrenders. That's not the case. He beemes the pnimius understands still the amuna shloi amuna shlamali meseichel. He doesn't compromise his faith, even though he's a profound intellectual and writes books about the existence of God and the truth of Torah, etc. His amuna remains beyond seichel. That's to be. It's not. It's not asking akasha why, but he is just pointing out this to be appreciated. That's one the difference between the two mishalim, the two. Makif and Pnimi. The Ratzin in the Pnimi doesn't change. And the Ratzin doesn't need the Pnimi. The Amuna wants the Seichel and doesn't change. Also doesn't change. The Eid Chiluk. So the Chiluk here, the first Chiluk is, the first one's not a Chiddush, the second one is a Chiddush. That's the Chiluk. Are we clear? Are we clear? In a Chiddush called Kach by Rotson? Sure. The Chiddush is by Amunna. Whoa. The Amunna didn't change, even though he really understands this. And Seichel has completely embraced the truth of Likus and Yiddishkeit. The Eid Chiddush by Shleim and Shalom. Another difference is the Bislap Shus Harotson by Seichel. Harotson by Seichel. And Rotson is invested in Seichel. Zesh Rotson mislabesh be Seichel apayl olav shikifi Rotson. This that the Seichel the the will is invested in the in the mind and affects that the the mind should express and comp- uh, what the, the will. Komipnei, what's going on here? Shad, I kind of brought this out already. Shad Rotson shoylet ala Seichel. What's going on here is. The will gets its way over the objections of any argument, and the arguments go along. And the Rotson doesn't care if there's an explanation or not. It's just an obstacle to, to be to be to be to be uh, negotiated. Someone's gonna ask him, why are you doing this? Why is there's an answer? It's not negate to the Rotson. The Rotson doesn't need an explanation. The Rotson doesn't need any justification. So the fact that the Rotson is, you know, getting down to control, manipulate the mind. So it's not the Rotson itself. It's, it, it, it would be the same. It's not that the, the will wants to be understood. It's that, it's that seichel not being impediment. So it's the same relationship that Rotson would have with any other faculty that put up an obstacle. The Rotson will mow it down. This is what I want. And the other faculties will, will open up to it and surrender. 
Lachain, key words coming, friends. Yeridis adratsim sabshuse besechel hu yerida mitis. So when the world's got to get down to, got to explain this intellectually, got to explain this emotionally, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, another thing. You're tired, you, you know, you're not physically tired because he really wants this, he's getting up early, he's going to go and get. It's a yerida. Yerida means, it means the rotsin itself doesn't need all these, the seichel to agree, doesn't need it. It's just that there is a seichel there and someone's going to ask a question and he's got to justify it in his own mind. So it's irid. Like, leave me alone, says the will. I want to do what I want to do. Okay, there's these obstacles. The wife has a question. The friend has a question. My mind has a question. My body is tired. The emotions object. So it's all got to be dealt with. No, I need it. Need explanations. And da, 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 da. But the point is, it's irid. The rotsen doesn't want it. The Lord doesn't want to have to deal with questions and answers and emotions. As my friend said in class, leave me alone. That's it. Don't ask me any questions. I told you the story. Leave me alone. That was the answer. Pure Lord. However, is this clear? Let's contrast it with the moon, it'll be clear. But if you slap when a person is using his seichel to understand his faith, the emunah, my faith wants, the part of me that believes in Hashem wants my seichel to embrace it also. Because I want my relationship with God to be something internalized and conscious that my mind is a part of. So it's not something to be negotiated. I wish you weren't there. For, on the contrary, this is something desirable. For the is for kind of. The Rodson is compelled to deal with the objections of 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 of, your, of his wife, his friend. You buy an expensive car. What do you need this for? And all the and all the questions. So he's forced to explain it. No, because there are hundred explanations. He would rather than no questions. He wouldn't have to explain it. But Emuna, and so therefore, it's Yerida for the the Rodson to get down and have to deal with it, overcome the strong arm, the policeman, and force the seichel, force the midas, and force the behavior. It's a yirida. It's a necessary descent. But emuna, emuna wants, emuna wants, the person wants a relationship with God that embraces his mind and his heart. So it's not a yirida. I mean, that's the, the primisdika desire, his primisdika desire. His faith wants this. Like in a marriage. Both he and she don't want just to believe in each other, but intellectually to be disconnected and emotionally dis disconnected. But the faith is there, so they remain committed. This is a relationship. You've got to engage mind and heart, body and soul. That's what that faith means. Be let's put this as clear line. Because I believe you're my soulmate, I want to feel you and engage you with every part of my consciousness. This is the result of the emotion. Not the not by the rats is the opposite. I want this. And these questions, I'll have to deal with it. Rather with no questions. It's a waste of my time. Which let me get 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 what I want. Waste of my time. I have to explain this to you. You're a distraction. Are we clear? Keywords is it's a true yerida, not a yerida. For the rats and to deal with seichel, it's a yerida. And for Amunah to deal with Seichel, that's the whole point of the Amunah. Because I believe we're meant for each other, then this has to embrace every part of who we are. Mind and heart, body, etc. So it's not a Yerida, like a compromise for the Amunah, leaving its world and having to deal with, this is what faith wants. If I believe we're meant to be, I want every part of us to be part of this. Are we clear or not? Yeah. Okay, much more explanation is coming, and then there'll be the third level. 
And all this corresponds to the three levels of air. Did you just talk about, again, the descent, the arida? The arida as it, as it, as it refers? Yeah, um, this is the point. Maybe somebody wants to offer an explanation of their words now. This is the key thing here. For Rotzen, it's a Yerida in Seichel. And Muna to be in Seichel is not a Yerida. No, someone say in your words. You can say, you can say my words as long as you're not parroting it. You understand it. No? Call somebody out here. Rotson doesn't. Rotson doesn't really care if Seichel uh, wants it or not. It, 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 he's he just wants. Maybe he, he wants, wants to. He he wants. No, he no. Rots, Rotson. Let's wants. use an example of a car. Oh. He wants to buy this car and this model, and it's very expensive. Now, why does he want it? Because he have to, we have to explain that. He wants it. Now, what would he prefer? He comes up and tells his wife that he's gonna wants to buy this car. What would he prefer? No questions asked. Why he didn't need it, then he can afford it. But he's asking questions, no, so he have to give explanations. So that's a Yuridah. Does the Rotson want to go there? Ah, I never think you talk. To dissent, I got a deal, and then there's the emotional protests that may, that might be <laughs> the emotional protests. You're buying yourself such an expensive toy, whatever. What you know? What about me? Whatever. Or what, whatever the reasons, the protests. But does the Rotson does he want to hear this? Like leave leave me alone. He has to deal with it. But Amuna now tell me Amuna and say. If you believe that this is your soulmate, you believe in the Abish is the only reality, and you describe this true. So what do you want? You want to ask questions? Sorry, Rabbi. You wish to... I'm, we're getting to it. No, what do you want? Ultimately, the if you believe your wife is your soulmate, what do you want? Answer it. If you can answer that, you've got your answer. No? You want to engage mind and heart and every level of conscious, every part that makes you up? You want to. You want to understand her virtues. You want to love. You want to feel. You don't want to convince yourself either. You want to really understand how your soulmates and feel that and appreciate her. So because that's what you want, the Amunab, your faith seeks this, it's not a Yerida to get down to the world of Seichel because it wants to. Your faith wants the mind to embrace this at the mind level, the heart and the body, etc., it's not an obstacle to be negotiated. It's something like that's what I want. We're not married otherwise. Just to believe we're meant to be intellectually, emotionally to be connected to something else or somebody else. That's not a marriage. Or not somebody else, just not with you, just out to lunch, anything else but you. Not a meeting of minds, not a meeting of hearts. You're not married. The Amuna demands that. The true faith we're meant to be soulmates demands complete fusion with every part of my being. My mind should embrace this. My heart should feel it. And behavior should, should be animated to express it. Is it clear now? Fusion, what's your question now? Or no question? Well, no, it just it just seems that the, the descent is 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 just all necessary for achieving a higher ascent. No? It's not what we're saying. We're saying whether the descent is desirable or not desirable. 
it's for necessary. Rotsen, for Rotsen, it's not desirable. For Amuna, it is desirable. And therefore, if it's desirable, then the Amuna is not descending, you know, leaving, got to, got to go somewhere else that I don't want to be. But for Rotsen, it is. I don't want to have to deal with your questions. I have to, what Moshe do. That's a Yerida. It's a Yerida from the world of Rotsen that doesn't care about Seichel. Doesn't care about emotions. It just cares about its own will. And Muna cares. And Muna wants to be apprehended by the mind. So that's what Yerida means. Yerida means compelled to go there. Or not Yerida means not compelled. That's where I want to be. It's not a Yerida. R Rotsen is more selfish. And Muna isn't. I mean, I could say that, but I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm not I hope, saying I mean, that that's the characteristic I of Rotson or I gave, Amunia, I gave but... an example of a marriage. It's not clear. Believing in your soulmate means, therefore, what do you want after that? It, it, the, your, the whole foundation is you believe. That isn't there. You're not married. That's, forget it. The foundation of marriage is you believe this is meant to be. And because you believe you're meant to be, because you believe you're meant to be, therefore, that Amuna demands, therefore, appreciating her intellectually, emotionally. Rotson does not want them to have to deal with explanations and emotions. It's, a it's an obstacle to be negotiated. It's not clear. Huh? It's clear. Okay, you need to think about it. Think, think, think. And to become clear. Okay, a minute to go. Today's story. Mamas, okay, we won't tell you a story because it's 27. It's a th Monday. Okay, friends. Have a wonderful day. Bracha v'atzlacha. So this Tavis. Thank you very much. Mazel tov. Thank you. Simchas all around.